So there is a blender market sale, 25% off. I'm gonna be buying stuff. Um, and actually I want you to recommend what I actually should be picking up. Um, I've already got two items in my cart, but what I'm gonna do now is actually go through some of the products that I use quite a bit and my recommendations. So first one is Extreme PBR Combo. Um, for those of you who follow me, I use this material library quite extensively. Uh, it's a really good material library. Simicloth Pro for all of my cloth simulations. Um, this is something that I use quite heavily. Auto Rig Pro is a must for anything to do with kind of like motion capture. If you're rigging characters, this stuff does it really quick and uh, really simply. Um, so I actually use this quite a bit. Uh, the scatter add-on for all kind of like the grass assets and so on and so forth. Um, this really creates nice looking, beautiful grass very quickly. Sci-Fi Elements is a new one that's been released and I'm gonna be using this one quite a bit in upcoming projects. So it's a whole bunch of Sci-Fi Elements, kind of like, almost think of Iron Man's thing, you know, when he's in visor and crud's flying around. This is the kind of stuff that it does. I haven't done a video on this yet, but I will be soon. Um, so this is something I'm gonna be using quite a bit. True Space is kind of like a HDRI of outer space. I think there's 30, 40 HDRIs you can use. Um, I've used this in quite a few of my sci-fi um, assets and short films. So just having them in the background looks good. Right, this one here is from the Polygon guys. Polygon? Poly... Pol... Gonic, whatever. So I used the traffic add-on quite a bit. You would have seen the Herbie video that I created where we blew that one up. Botanica is another grass and trees asset library. And also there's a secondary library that I use, the materi materi Material IQ. Um, Alpha Trees, you would have seen me using these in some of my short films, especially the one where there was a pod racer flying through and off into the distance. Um, that was all done with Alpha Trees, like really quick render, rather than having to build out whole trees. Um, it was kind of like planes of trees. Um, very quick add-on, very good add-on um, if you're doing some distance scenery. This is something that I'll be picking up is the a live animation course. Um, I am a self-taught animator. Am I an animator? I don't know. Maybe. Let's say yes. But I think it's just good to refresh my skills and have a look how other people actually are working with it and kind of just go through the whole process there. Um, what is this one? The EV Production Suite. So I use this one for lighting. Um, with all these videos, I for everything that I've done a tutorial on, I'll put it on the bottom there so you can actually have a look. Um, this has just a whole bunch of lighting presets here. So there's the City Builder add-on, which is just like literally a ton of buildings from different genres. I think there's like industrial, there's Russian, there's sci-fi, there's the city one, there's the castle one that are coming out and the um, Light Architect guys are constantly updating it. They also did create, there we go, the Chaos um, add-on as well of blowing stuff up. Really good, just looks good I, I couldn't even think of the words <laughs> um, and I'll be using this quite a bit in the next short film coming up as well um, with kind of like pod races explo exploding and so on and so forth and then physical starlight and atmosphere add-on oh there's one more after this I've pretty much used this in all my renders um, it just gives me a really nice lighting especially if I'm going for that dusk esque dusk-esque setting. Um, this, I'm a really big fan of this add-on. So yeah, definitely check this one out. And one more that I got to bring up, RBD Lab is all about the cell fracture and just making stuff work so good. It uh, One of the big things that I find is for some reason it clears the cache really well. Now it's something I'm struggling with, rigid body animation and so on and so forth. But RD, RBD Lab just seems to be clearing it really nicely. You're getting some really cool effects. I do have a video tutorial on how to use it. Um, RBD Lab, oh, I can't remember, is he Spanish or French? Anyway, I watched all those videos to try and work out how to actually use it. Um, 
I think this is a really good add-on moving forward. If you're especially if you're into breaking stuff up and blowing stuff up, this is one to get. So once again, let me know which add-ons I should be picking up, because uh, I'm a really big fan of looking at add-ons. In case you don't know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, leave a comment down below. If you found this helpful in any way, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all that jazz. Frank will be happy.